nothing when I'm by your side. We got something that will never die. Our dreams, our pride, my heart beats like a drum. All nice face to face, one to one, and it's all right. And I'll never let you go, cause there's something I know deep inside. Woo! You were born to be my baby, and baby, I was made to be a man. We got something to believe in, even if we don't know where we stand. <laughs> Only God What's up today is the third day of the vlog, I think. And, you know, I hope you liked the clip I just showed you. <laughs> Assuming I actually did put in the clip if I figured out how to do it. Adobe Illustrator. Otherwise, I'm sorry, I will try to get in at some point. But I hope it was there and I hope you you find it funny. Um yeah. And then today I'll just be talking about I guess kind of what I'm gonna be doing for the for the future and you know why I am maybe get some tips on what I recommend you to do, whatever you're doing. So I talked about this these three paths in my post yesterday, which is you know, basically three different life paths I wrote down for myself, which I could see myself going into depending on which decisions I decided to take in my life. In like, you know, which big decisions are really not like the small ones, like do I get a pizza, do I get a sandwich, right? You know, actually like a really big one. And you know, I just this has like helped me a lot. I think it's something, you know, I actually don't think I took this specific specifically from anyone, but just like watching some different and mindset things and reading different mindset thing, I came up with this with this thing where you you basically write down three different life paths and how you would like those th three different paths. So I think I'll just start by reading the ones I wrote, which I mean, you you don't have to be as well as black and white as bad and like as terrible for some of them as mine. I just you know made it this way because. I didn't really feel like I need to emphasize like what would or like you know basically just do the worst possible outcome and the best possible outcome to like pull polarize them so far that I basically feel like I wouldn't have a choice. I might I will also be posting these on my profile today. Maybe I'll be putting them into this video. Probably not because I'm probably like, can probably can't figure out exactly how to do it. But if I figure out, I might also do it here. So, you know, I will just start by reading the easy path with in quotation marks. And that is because it is probably the easiest one to execute. But living with it, I feel like it would be very hard for me. So what I wrote is easy path, finish high school and relax. Go to university and spend six years becoming an engineer or marketer. Get a job, work at it for eight hours a day, watch television, at the weekends, never get to travel the world, never get to own that Ferrari, never get to become an explorer, build a submarine, die having live an average life, forgetting you gave up on becoming someone at 17, be yet another disappointment to God and your ancestors, suffer the internal pain of being nobody, knowing that if you hadn't had not quit, you could have been somebody with a life to be proud of. Which is like obviously very, very dark, but like I think it works very well for me. You can do it like your own style. Also, like that is I'm not saying that is a bad life path. You can do definitely do that if you if that's what you want to do with life. I'm just saying I don't think it's for me, but my brain sometimes too still think it. So I just have this hang on my wall, so that you know whenever I'm thinking I don't want to do this, that's the reason why I do it. The second one is the hard path. Which is for me, do the outreach now, September 2023. Keep doing it when it's hard, when it's painful, when it's uncomfortable. Keep going, results will come. It will begin, it will begin to be hard as you build your empire and conquer the world. Keep building your character and life, get to travel the world, buy anything you would like, build a submarine. Get glory and honor, that having lived an interesting and fantastic life worth living with all the pain it took. Be a man of God and your ancestors. 
can be proud of, suffer the eternal, suffer the pain it took to become somebody. And then the third one, which is this is optional. You know, I think that those two are like the most important. And you can you can do them multiple different times with different dilemmas. I might do I probably will do some of those later again. But like it is, right now it is just for the doing the outreach, which I had a very hard time for my agency to get started with. So that's why I wrote this exact one right here. And then the last one is the hardest path, the hardest possible path. Give in to the comfort and discomfort and pain, stagnate, give up, quit on building your character, procrastinate pro procrastinate on what you must do for you, for God, for your ancestors. Eventually realize the easy path isn't a life worth living and return to the way of conqueror. Having wasted years of your life being a nobody. Now, terrible conditions even harder to build your character and the golden opportunity pass you by if you don't quit again you may eventually still be able to build your character and life eventually get to travel the world by anything you would like build a submarine get glory and honor die having lived an interesting life worth living however with the regret of wasting your years procrastinating instead of building yourself earlier so for the and this, this isn't bold, you know, this is like kind of a summary, you could say. Suffer the pain it took to become somebody and the eternal pain of quitting, knowing you wasted years being nobody. You know, I, I don't think you should, you should, you don't need to write, write them like this. It could be like, it could just be for your study, like, if you don't study now, you'll end up on the, on the street and like getting the thing you want. So like that is also very, very, valid way of writing this the way i would go about writing this for you or for anyone really is and I, I i might also be posting this on my instagram or facebook or somewhere today maybe some tomorrow maybe sometime this week at least i will be posting like the framework for writing this obviously you know it's like i can't really tell you if it if it works away to me i haven't just tested it on anyone else and i would love you would try it out so essentially what you would do is you would sit down, nothing in the room, maybe take down the, the you know, make it dark, not as dark you can write, right? And honestly, I would probably actually recommend writing this in your hand on, you know, pen and paper, just because it's, it actually gives something different, I feel like. And then you just write these down. For, for the easy path, I would write, if you are like, whatever the decision you are in right now, that you are kind of procrastinating and not doing what to do, the easy path is the path that is what will happen in the future in your life if you do not take action on this thing you are procrastinating right now. So that's the hard, uh, the easy path. I would write it like that. I would do something like, okay, so if I don't get my shit together and, and study for five hours a day right now, or like probably like five hours, right? But like two hours every day after school, I won't be able to to make this, get this grade I need, so to get this education, to do this. That could be like a very valid one, I think would be the case for a lot of people. And then, you know, the important thing is to write all the things you want, you would want from like, you know, not, that you could get from the from doing the, the hard path of studying two hours a day. You want to write all these things in this easy path too, and you want to write all the people you would disappoint by not making this if there is irony. I mean, I really recommend, I, I think you should have some people that you want to prove yourself to and like show you can, you can do it. And you, if you don't have anyone, you can do it like me, you can just do it to God and to ancestors if you believe in that stuff, right? And you know, for the hard path, what I would do is. The same thing, pretty much, except you, you just write what you should do right now and do every day and just like constantly keep doing. And when you're writing that, you just write the future and what you will get. So basically, kind of the same thing, just instead of not being able to get it, you will get it instead. And then over there, at the end of the first one, I like the ending with the suffer the internal pain of being nobody for like easy path, suffer the internal pain of being nobody, knowing that you 
if you had not quit, you could have been somebody with a life to be proud of. That's like really what is reminiscent of the the easy path for me, like the easy ride. It's really easy. So, and then for the hard path, I wrote suffer the pain it took to become somebody. You can write whatever you you think, whatever you think, inspirational and reminiscent of this path. And then for the hardest possible path, I don't think you need to rewrite this, honestly. Oh yeah, by the way, for the hard path to just write that you, you just basically write what is you will get when you, who, like the way you would, be, the people you would prove when you when you do this, so they would be part of you, even if that's just like God and ancestors like me. And then for the the hard path, I the hard possible path. You don't have to write this one. It is just you know like how would I get out of the easy path if I take the easy path now? How would I be able to still turn it around later? And because you can like really compare that to just the hard path now and just see like okay, so if I just do it now compared to if I do it in like five years, this is all the upsides I'll get. Just like, you know, write all of the, the first down you would have when you were switching from, you know, from now to the easy path. And then when you went to the hardest possible path, just write all of those things down. And that's how I would make the three. I'll, I'll also make a, a post this week, right, where I explain it in text so you can follow the framework to write it yourself. And like for today, I don't like even like make it too long. So I'll just briefly say what I've been doing today. So today, I've just been continuing my outreach. I found this this website called called Meet with with the Doctor or something, which is a podcast with plastic surgeons, which is my niche for my agency. So I just like found a whole bunch of people I can contact through that, which is nice. I'm still really really far away so i'm gonna have to work out for like the rest of the day to to get my goal of 57 today in terms of outreach which is gonna be tough but like it's fine and i'll I'll also go to work out after this so you know i guess i'll just have to find a time at some point today before i go sleep but that's pretty much it for what i've been doing today i hope you found the lesson about the easy the easier the hard and the hardest possible path useful and I would really recommend you try to apply it for yourself. Probably take like 30 minutes off to, to write these things down. And then you can write them from when you've written them in hand, you can make them and put, you can like write them again on the, the computer and like Canva, and then you can make them look cool. For me, it's like the, the, the easy path here is, it's like black with black background and white text and the other two, uh, the other two are uh, the opposite, and then I print it out and hang them on my wall. You can do the same thing. You can look at them whenever you get up or where you work, and you can also have them there. I'd be like, shit, I don't want to do it. And you can look, yeah, but like that's the alternative, really. I might actually hang them up, up here, too. And that's pretty much it for, for this time. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next vlog.